sorry, I have to write it because um, I know emotions are high and I might forget some things that I want to say. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> to my dearest Francis, when I met you, I was at a point in my life where I had almost give, given up on love. But you made me be <laughs> But you made me believe in fairy tales again. People who are close to me know that I love and give too much. But you're still able to make me feel that you love me more. And for that, I am grateful. Love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. And if you look and you think about the Father's love for you and I, that's the kind of love that He has. In fact, if you change that word love and you put God in there, that's the God you love. God is patient. God is kind. God does not envy. He doesn't boast. He's not proud. He is not easily angered. God keeps record of no wrong. Francis, it is your duty to love Valerie as yourself, provide leadership, protect her from danger. Valerie, it is your duty to treat Francis with respect, support him, create a healthy, happy home. It is the duty of each of you to find the greatest joy in the company of each other. Loving me and Heather as much as you do. Thank you for accepting me and all that I am. Thank you for always making me feel secure that even if we are in a long distance relationship, you have a way of making me feel that I can trust you and I don't have to worry about other ladies. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally through thick and thin, in sickness and in good health. I promise to value our differences as much as our common grounds. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you. Sailing through the seasons with every setting sun, breathing in the feeling like we've just begun. Today, I choose you as my life partner. I vow to be the joy of your heart. This is why I laugh. To laugh and cry with you. <laughs> to try my best. And we didn't talk. So, to laugh and cry with you. To try my 
best to make things better and easier for you and to be the best person that I can be for you. My love my change. a home that puts God first above all, for our kids, a home with security and bonding that will enrich us in our lives. As long as we have God in the center of our relationship, we will overcome the challenges that we may face. No matter what happens, let us never give up on each other. I love you very much, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you as Mrs. My love will not change.